Hello guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be giving you an overview of the circuit spec vehicles. Now, I've only drove the one in this beta and I have seen a bit of gameplay here and there from other YouTubers and I'm just going to give my two cents of what I think of the circuit spec car and I'm just going to give you a bit of an overview about, you know, what it does, what it has and, you know, customizable options and stuff. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so firstly, Circuit Spec is actually the weakest car of them all. Um, it only has two bars of health. To put that into perspective, I believe Raid, Raid Spec has 10, and then Dirt Spec has 7, and then Street Spec has 5. I may be wrong on those statistics, but it's somewhere around those ballpark. I know I'm definitely not wrong in some of those ballparks. But yeah, it's got the lowest health among all of the classes. Um, obviously, it's the fastest, though, and it's definitely one of the most agile. And, and it's just, it's, it's basically made for track, basing, uh, track racing only. You shouldn't be using this, you know, to go off road, shouldn't be using it to do anything else except to stay on track. Um, this car and um, the 4 GT you're seeing here, I think it maxed out about 210, 25 um, at when I was on a straight, so it is very fast indeed. However, this is not even upgraded, so when it's upgraded, I imagine that this car will be able to go about 250, 240, uh, depending on you know what, what upgrade you have on it. I can say with my time using the Circuit Spec vehicle, that is definitely one of the most planted cars I've ever used on the game, and it's definitely one of the most planted specs I've used on the game. It's definitely, it kind of acts like a four-wheel drive car, however you can feel that it is, it, it's a track-based racer, it really is. It's, it's track-based through and through, and you, you can really feel like the grip as you're going into the corners. It doesn't feel like you're going to lose it, you know, say like um, with, a, with a street spec car, you kind of feel like the back end's going to kick out. This is not the case. You see here, I, my stick was all the way to the left, and you can see that it's just, it just, it kind of moves, but it doesn't move too much. And I really like the fact how, you know, it kind of does that, you know. So, as for cust uh, visual customization, obviously you get a really wide body kit. You get uh, your steering wheel changes, your steering wheel changes, so it has some buttons on it now. Um, on top of that, you know, obviously you, you, you're able to change the wheels, the spoilers, the bumpers, and all that stuff, as you are able to do with all the other cars. And t it is as in depth, you know, as as all the other cars are. The circuit spec vehicle is pretty cool. As you can see, you know here, that's never going to happen in uh, in the real game. You're never going to be able to drift like that. It's it's always going to be st stuck to the ground. What I think, what the re redeeming factor of the Ford uh, Ford GT circuit spec car, I think the redeeming factor of this was the fact that it it was it goes so fast and it is so agile. Um, it it forces you to it it forces you to play it like Forza Horizon. Now, just hear me out here. It's, it's like a combination of the crew and Forza, Forza Motorsport. You have to brake before you go into corners. Um, you have to play, play it kind of like a simulation, but an arcade simulation, kind of like Forza Horizon. You have to brake before you go into corners. You have to kind of use your boost wisely. And you, you have to use the car. It, it, it's, just, it's hard to explain. You kind of need to play to understand. But the car itself, it has you, ha you have to give, kind of treat it as if it's a real life car, you know, you have to treat it as, as if, you know, you're going to break into this corner, then you're going to go take it in slow, you, you can't take it off road, you know, you can't be silly with this car, it's it's very, very serious, the car is very, very serious, when you're racing with this car, you, you, you can't hit into traffic like I just did, you can't do that, because you have to be very precise, you know, you've only got two bars of health, here you can see me c coming off the track, it's like a real life car in that instance, where, you know, if you go off the track, you're going to be screwed, because, it does not go fast on dirt at all. Like it really doesn't. It really just slow down quite a lot, and you really kind of need to pace yourself. You need to be careful on how you kind of treat the car. You need to you need to treat it in a way that it's not a dirt car. It's a track car. It's a track only, and you cannot take off road. You need to you need to kind of give it a certain amount of respect, as ridiculous as that sounds, uh, when you drive it. And I think this will become. A, I think you guys will know what I mean when you actually get your hands on with the game, or if you already have had your hands on with this car, you will know what I mean. Um, and it's hard to explain, it really is. Like here, I'm going off-road and I'm not having a chance. I'm like, like the car is decelerating as we go through here. And I have, I'm, I'm, I'm almost going to get hit by the side with by the, uh, the the rival gang. And yeah, you really need to stay on track with this car. Like, it's, there's no point, you know, going off-road. It's, it's just not going to work. So to give some final for final thoughts about the circuit spec vehicles and this 4GT in, in, uh, in particular, it's a great car. It's a great car. I believe that, you know, no matter who you are, you'll be able to learn how to drive it. However, you need to drive it with respect. And I think it will definitely be used, you know, for, I mean, this could easily be used for circ for street races, you know. Non-contact circuit races are what it's built for. However, you can use it in street races. And I think 
a lot of people will, be, will like this car. I, I think a lot of people will like the circuit spec vehicle just for, just for the fact it, it, it kind of reminds me of Need Speed Most Wanted in a way. Um, it has a very similar driving model and I, I think people will in, enjoy this, this uh, circuit spec vehicle. I really do think people will enjoy it. It's one of those cars that is very, reminis rem very reminiscent of other games and I don't think people, you know, are, are going to hate this vehicle because it has got so much little health. I think people really will really take a liking to this car, I know, like I did. I really do like the Circus Spec vehicle, and I can definitely see, you know, a place for it in my garage. Obviously, you unlock it at level 40, so obviously you're gonna have to make some compromises. However, I really, really, really do like this vehicle. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did hit the like, subscribe. Make sure to comment down below and give me some ideas about the three videos I'm gonna be uploading tomorrow. I really want your guys' ideas for you know what I'm uploading tomorrow. Um, this is all you know your guys' suggestions. I, this is this is your videos now. This this week is for when you should get your voice heard. This is when you should get your voice heard this week. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, I put a lot of effort, put a lot of a lot of effort into the videos that you saw today, and I shall see you in tomorrow with the next three videos. So the spam was real, guys, and yeah, peace. I'm actually oh wait 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 I'm actually streaming tonight. Um, I'm not sure when. If you go follow my Twitter, I'll have some tweets um, sometime today. I might be streaming now for all I know. But make sure you go visit my Twitch. Follow that as well. Twitter, forum, everything's down in the description, and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.